I'm going to give you the keys to the kingdom because Peter jumped up and he revealed something that everybody else was looking around. They wanted to give him an answer of what everybody else said. But the Spirit of God began to move into Peter and Peter knew exactly who he was. And because of that, he said, I'm going to give you these keys because the Spirit prompted you. I want you to know that you can go to church. You can come every time the doors is open. You can be a good steward and you can pay your tithes. You can sow your seed. You can sing in the choir. You can play an instrument. You can teach children's church. You can greet at the door. I can go on and on and on. But if you don't understand who you are inside the kingdom of God, all you'll become is a church fixture. And they will know you as somebody who went to church and was always there but when you get this thing you become something more than that you become a threat to the kingdom of hell because you open up your mouth and you say a thing and it happens Hallelujah. The enemy is not scared because you go to church. He's scared because you got something out of it. He's scared because you don't go to church but you become the church. Praise God. He's scared because all of a sudden, all of a sudden you realize a building don't make me. It's inside of me. I know the Bible says, Jesus said I'm going to give you the keys to the kingdom. And whatever you, look at your neighbor and say you. You activate this thing by what you say. You activate your life. You walk through this by how you feel in Christ, not in the flesh. Because I, I can tell you right now, some of you come in here today and you probably don't feel good. Right, Pee Wee? Got an arm broken two places, been waiting on the doctor for two weeks. Two. I don't, don't even, don't get me started, Lee Pearson. So, some people might not feel good, right, Polly? But still, yeah, you don't go by how you feel you go by what you know I don't care what it looks like I don't care what it feels like I don't care what other people says I'm going to step into it you begin to speak today I got upset by some things that's completely out of my control and God spoke to me and he said quit sticking your nose where it don't belong <laughs> Whew. anybody ever done that <laughs> and, and we still have the power to speak things but every day we're going to have an opportunity for the enemy to come in and try to derail us and stop us from where we are going but I want you to know as he said I'm going to give you the keys he, he, he looks right at Peter he said Peter I'm going to give you the keys to the kingdom notice when Jesus came walking and he began to come talking and he was looking for somebody to feed his sheep who did he talk to he talked to Peter because he didn't give him the keys listen to me Listen to me. Not saying that the rest of them couldn't get it, but he knew that Peter would teach this thing and they would get a hold of this thing and they would understand. And I need to tell somebody in 2017 that when you get a key to finances, you begin to move that thing. When you get a key to health, you begin to walk through that thing. When you get a key to wealth, you walk through that thing. When you get a key to righteousness, you walk upright. You don't don't hold your head down. You keep walking with God. When you understand these things, you speak a thing. 